In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. Previously on Living Free Alaska, we give an update on all the happenings in and around our Ultimate Chop House build during the spring of 2022. And we get spring fever, so we head out to clear off the boat in preparations of some future fishing trips in Prince William Sound. Click the link above if you missed this video. Now, let's get back to the vlog. Welcome back to Living Free Alaska. This video was originally shot in 2022. We are currently updating our new YouTube channel with this content to bring it up to real time. Expect new catching up the vlog videos every day through the month of February, and then we will return to a one video per week upload in real time. Some folks have been asking why our content is two years old, and again, We've started this second YouTube channel to separate our Alaska Life content from our business content and wanted to share our story as to how we got here, how we built our home, and how we do Alaska as full-time residents. We thank you for being patient while we catch up the vlog and are looking forward to getting back to regular weekly video soon. Until then, we hope you are enjoying our story. like 10 p.m. Prince William Sound. Beautiful. Just leaving Whittier. Heading out to, uh, well, shoot, that way. We don't know yet. Oh. Here, here's to budding season 2022. 2022. We're doing it.
chair. <laughs> Well, good morning. Oh, hi. How are you guys? We are Blackstone Bay. And this is our first boat trip of the 2022 season. Right. There's the naughty pleasure. Way out there. Right there. We just came ashore to uh, potty the dogs. Got a little drone footage. A little nervous. First time flying over water. That's always fun. And second time flying a drone. Challenge. I did yep. it. So we're gonna take off here. We've been here for overnight. We stayed, we came in here last night, a little bit late. Pulled in about almost 11 yep. o'clock. It was still light out. Ooh. Well, we launched at nine mm. and- we Left Whittier uh, at 9.45. Yeah. I can't believe this. We this is the first time, kind of exciting for us. The first time we've been able to boat to a tidewater glacier. This is pretty awesome. We had to kind of navigate through the uh, <clears throat> floating ice field a little bit. We've seen a calf a couple times already, waiting for another big one. It's amazing! Wow, <clears throat> impressive. I don't know how tall that wall is, but it's big. What do you think, Sophie? You're a good boat and dog, huh? You like the glacier? Yeah. We've sat here for about 20 minutes. We've seen a couple little calvings. Of course, trying to catch it on video is next to impossible. Right. <laughs> especially using an iPhone to record. If I had my vlogging camera. Or a GoPro set up, that'd be awesome. Hmm. I brought the GoPro. There you go. Have I set it up? No. no. We'll see. But uh, I think we're going to move on and head to our next stop where that is. We don't know. We're just exploring on our own, unguided, and just enjoying the day. It is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, yeah, shorts, but I had to put a jacket on. But because, I mean, the glacier winds are a little chilly. Yeah. <laughs> just a <laughs> little bit of ice. Imagine. Uh, but I'm in my swimsuit and uh, it's it's been fairly comfortable. So it's around one o'clock right now. So it's time to mosey on to our next spot in Prince William Sound. Fjord, uh, just entering the fjord actually. 
uh, and it is absolutely amazing. Flat glass with a little wind ripples. Um, we're going to head up over here to a passage called the Vestler Passage, and it is well known for some beautiful waterfalls, um, salmon runs, and when there's salmon runs, there are whales. So, we've seen some sea otters today, and now I'm on the hunt for whales. Think you can make that happen, Captain? I will try to spot one as best I can. I can't to guarantee you where they are. Right, they have a pretty big playground. Yep. Alright, so we'll turn the camera back on if we uh, come across some wildlife. Alright, we have stopped at our next destination. This is Granite Bay, the entrance, and we are going to drop our shrimp pot for a couple hours soak. Uh, while the shrimp pot is down, we're going to go into the bay, check it out, check out the anchorages, maybe have an evening appetizer, and then we'll come out later in about three hours, check the pot, see how we did, and then mosey on to our next stop. Well, change of plan. Uh, the walls here are too steep. The sea floor is too steep. The sea floor is too steep, and we've got some commercial saners uh, fishing the area, and so we're gonna just go in, check out the bay, and then motor on down the way. the shoreline I expect to see a bear. black bear down on the shoreline but so far no bear sightings but we're keeping the eagle eye out for them again beautiful day for a start of a wonderful boating season I guess it's official. Shrimp pots are out. We're shrimping. See what happens. See what happens. Um, we're just playing a game. I don't playing the game. I'm not sure exactly uh, where to go, what to do, how to do it, but we're going to figure it out. We got some ideas, and uh, hopefully we'll get some shrimp in the pot in the next three hours. Right? Shrimpy tails for dinner. And if we get a shrimp in the pot, good, a good number of shrimp in the pot, maybe we'll just dump them here tonight, overnight. We'll see. I don't know. Hmm. Good six hour soak, and I think we got a total of 12 shrimp. 
So now what we're doing is just, uh, I don't know how well you're going to see this, the sun's in the way, but uh, we're going to reset the pots and let them soak overnight. So do we want to try to get right that's, in here? That's where I want it initially, yes. Okay. I want, I want to be in there. Okay. I will get us there, Captain. the uh, fishing charts here and it shows the you can grab it it shows the depths so we're looking at the navigation chart and you see where that orange dot is initially right here that's where we did our first drop and just ahead of that I figured that but just ahead of it is that little hole right, right there that's, where yeah, we're that's a go shelf for. you see where the, you show you see the gradient lines showing different depth contours where there isn't a gradient line is a big old plateau and I want to kind of target that. I want to set my top, the pots on that plateau right on the edge of the uh, steeper areas. So that's our goal. We'll see what happens. Okay. That's great. Six feet different. That's great. Okay. Going down. Okay. Marking. Uh, stand by. Well, I'm in neutral now. I know. lay on the rope honey wow that was great it came out really nice did it yes not bad for a rookie so this uh, i think bobby the the bulk of this line is actually a weighted line so we have 600 feet of it really dropping in 300 foot of water so um so the line will drop down straight so it's not kind of it's not floating around everywhere and, and making a mess for everybody else that's motoring through um the buoy will Kind of mark us where it is and it'll just go straight down from there yeah and when we drop the pots um we're, we're making a, a arch initially when we're dropping them we're making a little arch to keep them in you know so they drop in a circular fashion so uh the things don't get tangled up when they come up with the pot puller you can tighten it up a little bit crank it over like crank it Neutral. Okay. Oh, we're done. And we're all shrimping. That's how we do it. Okay, what time? I, I'm going to let you take over and I'm going to right, mark, mark our, our official records. Yep. Okay, 817. 817, two pots down. Not too bad. Full retrieval and reset in 20 minutes. Half an hour. 25, oh, half hour, okay. This, this is what we're going for. Mmm, yummy. Look at that guy. Delicious. What a gorgeous evening. Not a lick of wind. Remember to toss the right part. <laughs> Have you already screwed up? No. You throw the heads, not the tails. This is this is a tail. That's that's the tail. I just popped off of a pretty decent sized head. So you only get it's the, the head's like almost two thirds of the body. So it's not a huge tail, but 
It is a delicious tail. See, here's a good size guy. That, he's he's pretty good size. I mean, honestly, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good size shrimp. So we're just uh, pinching, twisting, and pulling. Oh, <laughs> not much came off. <laughs> I want to clean that one up a little bit more. There we go. So that's that's what you get in the end. And this is the humane way. They're not suffering. They're not sitting in a bucket of water for a long time. They're getting taken care of right now. 22. 22 shrimp. Ah, I mean, it's not good. It's not good. It's a meal. <laughs> it's not bad. So this will go in our freezer. And hopefully in the morning, we will add to this. All right. So that's how we shrimp. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on shrimping in Prince William Town. All right, I think we need to go find an acreage. Yep. Uh, believe it or not, it is like 8.30 now. And uh, you can see the sun off my shoulder. We still got a ways, I think, uh, sunsets at midnight. So we've got tons of daylight in order to find a place to anchor up for the night. And then we'll come back in this to the spot in the morning and see how we did. Well, good morning from Waterfall Cove. Today is Tuesday, May 31st, last day of May. And this is our last day on the water, unfortunately, for May. We are gonna head home later this evening. But in the meantime, we're gonna go check our shrimp pots that we dropped last night and check out a few new cruising grounds that we've not explored yet on our own. Uh, just to get a feel of the area and where we can go next time. So uh, overall, this was a great anchorage. It is called Waterfall Cove. You can't tell right now, but right over here is a whole line of waterfalls along the, uh, the mountainside. Last night we did see a black bear. We were on the dinghy and we came back to grab my big camera. And by the time we got that, it was gone. What do you think, Captain? You gotta be more prepared when you go for little tender rides because that's sometimes when we get closer to the shore and can see all the good stuff. It's just kind of scary taking our electronics on the dinghy. Well, that's a little, little waterproof backpack before. <laughs> yep, I guess I gotta get used yeah. to carrying that. This, this morning was a minus tide, one, minus 1. 1.6, so uh, fairly low in here. Uh, overnight, we experienced about a 15 foot tidal swing. Uh, so when we woke up, it's like we saw a little bit more uh, shore than we were expecting, but uh, we're still we were plenty, plenty deep. deep. And uh, it was amazing to see all the birds and sea life on the shoreline over there where that uh, river's coming out. We saw well, one or two bald eagles and a bunch of other yeah. seabirds. Right back here. So yeah. overall, great night. No bouncing, no rocking, no oh, wind smooth. chop. Uh, two excellent nights of anchoring out. No complaints for the start of the 2022 season. So now we're going to button up the boat, get ready for travel, and we're going to go check our shrimp pots. Hopefully we'll do a little better than we did last night. So Gary right now is bringing the tender on board, and I'll just show you that. It's El Manuel to get it up, but our dinghy's pretty light, so. So say you. <laughs> so Gary just gets on the uh, top of the cabin, and... Uh, Yanks her up. There is a product that would help us a lot. Yeah, I agree. I like the ad idea of putting more neoprene up there. Yeah, nice. Especially for this right here. Right here. Yep. And that is how we get it up. <coughs> No, I get it up, not we. <laughs> uh, and then Gary just straps it down and straps the motor down to the uh, back lid there. And it's secure for travel, both on land and sea. This is probably the last time we'll have it out this trip. I need to go adjust and help him, so I'll turn on the camera when we're underway. 
Well, we're just leaving our anchorage and we're headed out to the main passage here. This is Esther Passage. We've got another boat just crossing our bow at the moment. We'll probably tuck in right behind him. But, uh, what do you think, Captain? Uh, it was a great night on hook. Um, uh, yeah, awesome. And we're loving this. Uh, I wish we could stay out for another few days. But uh, responsibilities with building a house uh, do take precedence over pleasure. So we do have to head back in and make some appointments or attend some appointments with the house uh, today. So that'll be all right. But um, we are going to go check our shrimp pots and see how we did overnight in this uh, guessing game of shrimping in the Prince William Sound area. <laughs> Especially for us newbies. Yes. <laughs> Rookies! <laughs> It's okay. all good. We'll get it figured out. All right, so our pots are straight ahead. Coming up on it, and uh, we're gonna switch to the GoPro now and get to work. So I gotta put the phone down. Let's hope for a good overnight soak. I'm hungry for some fresh shrimp. Next time on Living Free Alaska, we catch up on all our highlights from the summer of 2022. From the Chicken Stock Music Festival to sockeye salmon fishing in Prince William Sound, more house build updates, a trip to Chena Hot Springs, and our annual RVing to Alaska campout rally. And finally, moving into our ultimate shop house. It's all covered next time on Living Free Alaska. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.